We're going to change out the belt on this Kirby Generation 6. First thing we'll do is flip this up. Now you'll notice a belt on, belt off indicators here. So right now it's in the belt on position. So we need to move that into the belt off position. So we're going to rotate it this way, this lever, and then the reds line up. It's belt off. So now it's in a position where we can take the belt off. So we'll lift this lever to release the uh, Release the belt holder and the brush part of the machine, which just sits on there. If you look inside now, you can see the belt and the little belt feeder. Basically, it's in the off position. Now we're going to take that and rotate it as you're looking at it toward the on position, which is going to release the belt from the holder. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is release these two levers here. And these hold this floor bottom piece here that rubs against the floor. Okay, now we're at the brush. To get it out, just use the belt, unless your belt's broken. Just give it a tug, yank, and out it comes. And then you would take the old belt off, put a new one on. Um, the other thing that you have to consideration here is the height of the uh, of the brush. There's three positions, one, two, and three. And they show them on here. One being um, the highest, three being the where, the where the brushes are lower. Now, as it wears, they um, this position can be moved. It's like a cam on here that uh, adjusts the height, basically, of the brushes in relation to the, uh, the machine. So I'm going to put them at two. And there's a, a large cap. There's the large. And also a small cap. And you have to have those in the right orientation. So with the twos up, the twos facing up, We'll seat this in its guides. That's all the way down. Okay, then we're going to put uh, reinstall this metal piece that goes on the bottom of the brush holder. When it's in all the way, you'll be able to take these locking levers and lock them back on. Now if you look at the end of it, you'll see the brushes, see them there coming up above the uh, flush surface that rides along the floor here. And I've got them up just a few millimeters above. Again, it's in position two. Here's the two. Two on either side of the middle of the roller, part of the roller that uh, is flush with the floor. So as they, as they wear, um, you can move them into the next position and therefore continue to use the same brush for quite some time. Which is kind of a clever little arrangement. Okay, so to reinstall, you need to get this into the belt off position now. So we're going to rotate it this way. As you look inside, you can see that it's the belt grabber, loader, feeder, whatever you want to call it, down here. It's grabbing a hold of the belt and getting it into position where the uh, where it can be placed onto the motor shaft. So with that operation complete and now in the belt off position, there's a there's a bar here that this cast piece rests on 
So you want to get it onto that bar. There it is. And when it's there, you can lock it down. And then the next thing you need to do is get it into the belt off position so it'll place the belt neatly on the shaft. This time it's going to go the other way. Belt on position and we're ready to roll. Thanks for watching this little tutorial on changing a belt and uh, setting the brush height on a Kirby Generation 6 vacuum cleaner.